what's happening to the nation? Welcome back to my black universe. We have another electronics unboxing. It's requested by a viewer. Let's get right into it. it just came in. Go through this tape. Last little bit of tape. All right, family. So we got another entry from Raycon. We have the Trendsetter H20s by Raycon. This is the third over ear headphones. Let's get through this tape real quick and get right into this unboxing. So check out the back right here. You see it says has noise cancellation, drown out background noise with advanced noise cancellation technology. We're going to check that out because the previous generation H100s did have noise cancellation. So we're going to see how the two compare in a review video. We have uh, listen up to 22 hours before needing to charge. That's, how, that's pretty good battery life. Superior audio performance. Premium 40 millimeter neodymium audio drivers deliver crystal clear audio. We'll put that to the test. Wireless V. 5.0 so it has the uh should be over 33 feet should be about, right about 33 feet of bluetooth connectivity all right so let's get in the box all right so we got right here welcome to the next wave and gloss lettering you have your pamphlet with all of your information in it. It's actually nice material. It's very nice material. We have a charge cable, micro USB, and I think they went down. I think the last generation was USB Type C, but we'll pull those out just to verify. You have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So if you want to do inline listening, Class got away, and that's it. And here they are. So now this comes in three colors. You have Arctic white, rose gold, and right here the carbon black. Of course, you now got the carbon black. You see your active noise cancellation switch right here. It's your charge port. You have your power. You have your volume up and down. And this side is the right side. You have your 3.5 millimeter jack here on your left side. Nice, very soft cushions for your ears. You also have some foam pad, some uh, yeah, some very nice padding up here on the top, um, right here for your head, and also on the very top of it. It's not as thick, of course, but it's a nice touch. And of course, you can swivel them. They stretch very nice, so if you got a big head like me, you should be able to wear these. No problem. So let me grab a phone real quick. We'll power these up. We'll do the pairing. We'll give a quick listen. All right, family. So let's check out the pairing process. See if we got any juice. Signature Raycon signal. Or should I say uh, power on? Raycon H20, as you can see right here. Nope, wrong one. Wrong one again. All right, family, so here we are, connecting. All right, got to connect it. So to Amazon Music. Let's get some big crit on here real quick. All right, doing this from behind the screen sucks. So as I like doing it from behind the camera sucks. In fact, you know what? Big Sean just released Detroit 2. So let's jam that. 
Let's get the Detroit two up here. Harden and my demons, Mike Will made it. You hear it? Artip. Okay. All right, so initial listening, I'm not impressed. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. This is as loud as they are. I, I make sure I turned it up over here on the uh, right side as well as on the on the phone, and I'm not impressed at all. So let's do uh, active noise cancellation. You see you got it powered on. When you flip it, you get a blue LED. Let's see if that does anything for it. Oh, yeah, the active noise cancellation works damn good I can barely hear myself alright so for anybody hold on let me take these off alright so for anybody who's ever listened to this song and you have a system in your car you know that uh, it gets real low and uh, that subwoofer is going to be jumping on certain parts uh, Mike Will did his thing with this beat Active noise cancellation, it sounds better. Now, the, the, the mids and highs are clear, but it's just not loud enough. I don't These these aren't going to really compete well. It's just not loud enough. So, real quick, let me grab the H100s, and we're going to do a comparison. All right, fam, we're back in. So, we've got the H100s. we got them on active noise cancellation. You can see right here. And they are connected. Let's go back to Big Sean real quick. Got them on. Actually, I think the active noise cancellation is better on these. Oh, yeah, these are louder. <laughs> these are louder. <laughs> These are way louder. And also I think it's because if you look at the cup size on the ears. A lot bigger now. These are more comfortable. Look at, the, look at that, man. These fit my ears a lot better than these do. Uh, and I think the active noise cancellation is way better on the H100s than they are on the H20s. So the trendsetters may look better. You can, you know, this just has a better look, kind of like that. It's got that sheen on it. These do look better, better branding and stuff like that. But as far as everything they did right with these is aesthetic, but these are a much better buy. But they don't sell them anymore. So if you didn't get the H100s, I don't know what to tell you. Way louder, better active noise cancellation. I honestly cannot recommend the H20 trendsetters. Um, we can still do a long-term review. Just to kind of go over this, but you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time, peace and blessings. I'll show you.